Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to give a little uh, follow-up on uh, on this Watts View device. I put one of my solar panels out on our little ledge here we got in front of one of our windows. So the wires come in. I got the positive lead going through the Watts View. Back over to the positive on the grid tie inverter. The negative from the solar panel goes to the negative on the grid tie inverter and then I have the, uh, the voltage leads from the watts view which just comes from this green terminal block connect to that up so I'm measuring voltage from the panel going to the uh, grid tie inverter and then I have the current going through the current sensor uh, back to the uh, grid tie inverter. And then on the wall here I have the current uh, grid tie power. Now this panel is like a 65 watt but the sun is kind of coming in and out and it's later in the day. You can see it's 6 up to 25 here. My watts view is reading <clears throat> the actual panel voltage, watts, and then amps and accumulated watt hours is like the primary big screen that it'll have while it's monitoring and I'll switch over to the chart view here you can select quite a few different things to have it monitor right now it's it, I can click on uh, I'll just take everything off here so as it's Right now I have nothing selected, but I just want to watch the voltage. You can see it accumulating the, uh, the voltage over on the right there and got the history of it. Take that off. Now we're looking at the amps. You can see how that <coughs> It was about three minutes ago I was getting, uh, let's see, up to three amps and then the cloud comes in and drops down to 0.4. Now it's getting back up in real time up here to uh, up in the twos. I'll take the amps off. Just look at the watts. So this is a combination of the volts and the amps together. So I'm putting out from the panel it obviously varies from uh, up to 45 down to 5. Now it's reading uh, around 30. Grid tie inverter is reading 30. It jumps around quite a bit, right? The grid tie inverter is now reading 9. So, <clears throat> What's pretty cool about this is you can actually see how the wide range that you can get for power output on a solar panel and can track it over time. Um, that's a pretty much the, the things that you'll be looking at. So, And back to the big screen. Now it's, <clears throat> this is just a USB connected cable. To uh, Then it goes into a 9 pin uh, connection on the, uh, the watts view. So it's pretty easy to get it set up. And in some future videos I'll be uh, showing you how I actually use it other than just doing a quick demo here. But I, We can set up the timeline for a lot longer collection. You can have some uh, have it go for a certain duration then it'll stop. A lot of flexibility in the software. So I think this is pretty cool. Okay I've got it set up in simulation mode so we can kind of practice uh, some of the uh, analysis that you can do with it. So let's assume that the panel, like a either wind turbine or a solar panel, is nominally running at uh, 18 volts and it somehow dropped down to 8, had this big spike up to 28, and then back down to 18 again. So we wanted to take a look closer look at that. So I'm going to put it on pause. Here's a couple of the tools that you can do down here. You can just uh, in, select this first box here. Let's say I want to I want to really look very closely what went on right at that transition there. So you can just 
click on that and you can get the actual profile voltage if the volts is what you were measuring which I was in this example uh, real close in and then you can reverse that you can also look at just <clears throat> a segment of time so let's say I want to look I want to look from this point here to this point here and it'll show you exactly that time span and some of the voltages and the time duration that those things occurred and then you can also do a similar thing but just blowing up kind of the uh, a range of voltages so let's say we just want to look in these in this range of voltage right here so you can see kind of the, the zoomed in uh, profile of voltage in this particular case Another thing you can do, you can do uh, uh, panning around left and right so you can change the uh, position pretty well. You can also selecting this button here and just uh, putting your cursor anywhere on the screen. Click, click, click to zoom it in. Go here, click, click, click to zoom it out. So you can kind of look at, uh, you know, the long uh, duration uh, view of the chart. So here's another chart. Let's say that I'm I'm actually plotting voltage, amps, and watts on the screen and I want to actually have all this data downloaded uh, right away. I can just hit this copy data button. It puts it on the clipboard. I can go then down to my uh, my notepad and just do a paste and there's the data. There's the date, time, uh, voltage or the power or the volts, the amps and the power in watts. All captured right there on your on your uh, clipboard. Okay so here's another example or I'm turned on the save data button up here so while it's while it's accumulating uh, readings, it's also logging the data in real time. Okay, over on the uh, logger view, I can select any one of the uh, parameters, voltage, and it'll list the voltage in its own units on the left here. I select amps, show what it was doing over that time period. I could show watts with its own color. And then any one of these, I can use some of the common plots either area curves I can change the color of, of the lines change the line style line width uh, so forth anyhow I think I'm just scratching the surface of what this thing can do for me but I thought I'd give you a little bit of a taste for it and if you're interested you can go to the wattsview.com site and check it out for yourself